Rocket League is a game where cheating is almost impossible. It's been designed in such a way that the server rules, meaning that unless you can hack a dedicated server, there's not much that can be done to give yourself any extreme advantages. But that's not to say it didn't happen in the early days. Like this example from July 2015, where a player named Vlad found a way to abuse the positional data the servers relied on. These issues and others like them have come up from time to time over the years, but fortunately, they're usually found by someone who reports them, not by someone who exploits them. Hacks that pull information from the server are a different story. While not as powerful as server-side hacking, the ability to access hidden data like your opponent's boost level, rumble items, or even the projected path of the ball have either been rumored or even proven to work at different points in the game's history. These two have been reported and patched by Cyanox as they come out, and the modding community as a whole has banded together to take a firm stance against anyone who attempts to create such exploits. Today, we're going to be talking about some client-side hacks that you can actually test out although only in certain situations. These plugins, of course, are not allowed to be used in online play, but they can be fun to test out in free play or even in hosted private matches with friends. On top of that, I would also say some of these could be considered useful learning tools. And for you console players, I know it sucks to talk about mods you can't use, but I haven't forgotten you, so we'll be touching on a couple hacked training packs that you can make use of as well. All right, let's get started. Imagine a line that told you where the ball was going and what direction it would bounce. This is not a dream though. Ball path prediction is actually in Rocket League. Well, the Chinese version anyways. But you too can experience this crutch by way of the Predictator plugin for Bacchus Mod. It's usable in both free play and custom training packs. And while it's fun to play around with, I would also say that it could be a valuable training exercise, especially for newer players that are trying to line up more complicated shots and redirects or just understand bounces better. In fact, after watching some of the Chinese Rocket League footage, I would argue that ball prediction in the lower levels could be a great help to those that are just starting out. One of the biggest hurdles of getting and keeping new players is the steep learning curve of this game. Power control, boost management, positioning, speed, rookies have enough on their plate already. We can make things a little less painful by giving players an idea of where the ball is going. Now, I'm not suggesting it would be a permanent feature, from what I've read about the Chinese version, these assists are turned off after level 20. And I think a similar approach is something that could be considered for our game. Now, if you want to try out ball prediction for yourself or any of the other plugins I'm going to talk about in this video, you'll find them linked in the description below. Hitboxes in Rocket League is definitely a topic that's surrounded by confusion, misinformation, or just ignorance. For example, a lot of people probably couldn't tell you that the Octane, Fennec, and Scarab all share the same hitbox, or the fact that there's almost 30 other cars that also have that hitbox. With the hitbox plugin, you can see just how each car and hitbox matches up. This is useful for understanding how your car contacts the ball and can also give you answers in regards to issues you have with your game. For example, if you're a Dominus user and often have the ball pass just in front of your car when you go for an aerial, well, the hitbox plugin can help you see that you need to start adjusting your aim to account for the fact that the visual model is actually larger than the hitbox in the front. This plugin also works in replays and can show you why someone hit the ball before you or how that car managed to get a demo. Understanding how hitboxes can both extend past visual models or how a car can have areas with no ball contact is some useful knowledge to have that the game usually keeps hidden from you. With every new car or DLC, a question a lot of people have is what hitbox is it and how well does it fit the visual model? With the hitbox plugin, you can get those answers instantly. This next plugin is probably only going to be a one-time use kind of thing, but it is another example of getting an inside look at usually hidden parts of the game that may actually improve your play. This mod, accurately named the Boost Whiff Training Plugin, draws the hitboxes of the boost pads on the field. Through this, we're able to see that you don't actually need to drive over a boost pad to get it. And in fact, you don't even need to be on the ground, as the hitbox does extend into the air a bit. This probably also gives you some clues as to why sometimes a player gets a pad that you thought should have been yours. Now, while we're talking about boost, I just want to take a second to try and boost my Twitch following because I'm pretty sure most of my even regular viewers do not know I stream. My Twitch link will be in the pinned comment below, and I'll actually be live during the first three hours of this release. So after you finish the video, be sure to come by and tell me what you thought of it. Our next one isn't even a separate plugin. It's built right into Bacchus Mod, but you might not even know it's there. Under the Free Play tab, you'll find the Car Color Flip Indicator. When enabled, this feature will change the color of your car when the 1.5 second flip timer runs out and you lose your second jump, or more importantly, when you get your flip back. Definitely a useful tool for you aspiring freestylers out there. As an interesting side note to go along with this, you can actually have a flip indicator in online matches too, and no matter what platform you're on but only if you have the DeLorean DLC. While it's not as obvious as a color change, the DeLorean wheels will cycle and give you a clue that you've got your flip back. See console players, this isn't all useless information. Also, while we're looking at the Bacchus Mod Freeplay tab, there's one other feature that I think will definitely make you feel like a hacker. 
It's called unlimited flips, and you can do some crazy stuff with your car when it's turned on. Personally, I think it'd be hilarious if Psyonix decided to include something like this in a future LTM. Rocket League could have been a game that had a minimap. If you watch my video about things found in the game files, you'll know that an image that looks very similar to a minimap or radar was found, which also matches up with the fact that during Alpha one of the devs mentioned on Reddit that a minimap was planned. But in the end, it was never added, and Rocket League has become a game in which situational awareness is a skill you develop, not a picture you look at. And I would expect they would never cheapen that skill by adding a minimap six years later. But if you want to see what a minimap would be like, you can use the Bird's Eye View plugin. Now to fully test this, you probably want to play with friends in a hosted local game, which if you don't know how to do, I'll link both an Epic and Steam tutorial in the description. But probably the most powerful use for this plugin is as a teaching tool. The minimap also works in replays, allowing you to easily check your own positioning in previous matchups, or help coach a lower ranked player by being able to reference the location of their opponents and teammates when you're pointing out rotational mistakes. After playing around with this plugin a bit, I would like to also add it to my idea for a better early game experience. A minimap that shows teammate positions could be a great addition to help our players learn to space out. And much like ball prediction, it could be something that's disabled after a certain level or number of hours. So what do you think? Should we add some assists to help players that are starting their Rocket League careers? Let me know in the comments below. Alright console players, it's your turn. Now we all know you don't have the opportunity to play any of the amazing aerial training maps the community has made. But there is a way for you to at least simulate that experience. Without a map training pack codes, you too can have free flight. The most popular one is probably the drop shot map Core 707. The structures on the outside of the map don't have any collision, but you can at least pretend and practice your aerial control as you navigate through them. For a more visual experience, you could go to Neo Tokyo, though sometimes it can be a little tricky to find your way outside some of the invisible walls. I was also recently sent a code for the new map Dead Eye Canyon as well if you'd like to try and fly around there. Big thanks to Cobra for his help with these packs, and as always, you'll find the codes in the description below. Now before we end, I thought I'd mention one final set of hacked training packs that you might not know about, though these are probably more for fun than actually training your skills. These packs allow you to play with multiple balls. There's a 30, 50, and 100 ball pack that work on both PC and console, though the 100 ball one can get pretty laggy. Also, in case you missed it, I actually have a speedrun challenge with the 50 ball pack that's running for about another week. So if you want to know more about that, check out the video that's linked in the right hand corner of the screen. That brings to an end our look into some unique Rocket League plugins. I hope you at least found a few of these interesting or even useful in your personal training. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other content that's linked here. Also, remember my Twitch stream is linked in the pinned comment below. Make sure you come by and say hi sometime. My name is Rocket Sledge. Thanks for watching.